he explores you, uh, the body, and by the sonogram that he takes of you. And the sonogram has, as I say, has been a, a lifesaver. Neither we, nor the radiologist, nor the neck surgeon could actually feel any of these tumors. When people said to me, well, how did you know you had this uh, thyroid problem? I said, because my doctor did a sonogram. And he said, many of them say, my doctor doesn't do that. And being able to port this technology in a usable and friendly way is a tremendous advance. It can do everything. It can't sing, but it really is terrific. You never have to ask in the case of uh, Dr. Case. He's like the one step ahead of you. I think it's a wonderful time to be involved in this, and I trust that as time goes on, more of the imaging technology will move into the general practice of medicine and make it a keener diagnostic place than it has been in the past. If 45% of the people walking through my door have heart disease, and the only way I can figure out which half you're in is with the ultrasound, how could I not use it? He picked up what he thought was a real problem in my carotid artery. And with the sonocyte, you can see the liver, you can see the kidneys, are there cysts, are there gallstones, is there a kidney stone? And the current uh, iteration is absolutely spectacular. And it's fast, it's painless to the patient. And without radiation, we can do it day after day after day as we may need to. This is what solved the problem. Because, you know, the only symptom for a stroke is a stroke. I cannot understand why others haven't leapt to it. He may have saved my life. Probably he did. And as a result, I owe him a great debt of gratitude.